possible. I was driving around with my sunroof open because Toronto today was up to 10 degrees. Haven't seen that in a while, have we? Hamilton 11, Windsor was 11 degrees. And as we look at the approaching storm, there's a slew of warnings in place in the United States. But here's what's approaching for the overnight in southern Ontario. We do have this rain band pushing through areas like London and Windsor. This is just ahead of the big system. So it's not yet what we're expecting to come, which really funnels through in the overnight hours. Blowing snow warnings are in place as well as winter storm warnings. Hamilton, you're in a blowing snow warning, but it's a winter storm warning towards the southwest. Blowing snow is because the winds are going to be so strong. In Hamilton tomorrow afternoon, they'll be sustained at 50 kilometers an hour. Anywhere marked in white, 15 to 25 centimeters of snow towards the GTA, it's 10 to 15. As we shift north, you're missing out on the action. Uh, cottage country, under five centimeters of snow, so it's really staying, staying south. We've got those northerly winds, as Gary mentioned, and it's going to be very strong. As this system sort of departs tomorrow evening, the bigger concern is going to be the blowing snow because it's going to be just blowing all around, reducing visibility on the roads. Water, too cold for me if you ask me. As we look to what's happening in the east, we're also in storm watch for you. This is through to Wednesday. Uh, we've got 5 to 10 centimeters of snow for St. John's. Uh, Port of Basque seeing a little bit more. This is just moving through very quickly tonight, but we've got a lot of statements in place, a lot of watches and warnings for what's happening next. Halifax, by tomorrow evening, Evening. We have 25 to 40 millimeters of rain, which will begin really through the evening time and be a Thursday story for you. So some flood concerns there. Here's the departing system we have in Newfoundland to deal with tonight. But then tomorrow, here's really the big story to be concerned about. Travel is going to be a disaster. Look at Wednesday evening and this red line, this warm front that moves through. This is a dividing line between snow in the north and rain in the south. Our Stormwatch coverage does continue. You can also watch us on theweathernetwork.com. Deal. We find you the perfect deal. March is such a busy time for traveling with all the March breaks across the country. For Wednesday, if that's your day, Boston will be 8 with showers down towards Miami. Perfect beach conditions, 29 degrees and sunny skies. Dallas 15, Los Angeles getting up to 24 and towards Paris. 18 degrees on Wednesday, beautiful sunshine. Looks great to me. A great city to walk around in. And London getting up to 16 degrees for Wednesday. Safe travels. All right, so Nathan will be on the ground as the storm rolls on through for you into tomorrow evening. Take a look at all the warnings in place. For you in Halifax, it's a rainfall warning. So too is Yarmouth. We're expecting 40 millimeters of rain. Grand Manan also in that rainfall warning, but snowfall warnings for New Brunswick. And Miramichi, uh, it is going to be blizzard-like conditions for you with winds gusting over 60 kilometers an hour. Through Wednesday, Newfoundland, yes, you're going to get a little bit of snow, 5 to 10 centimeters for St. John's, but then with the next system approaching, it is a risk for freezing rain as well as rain. So this is the storm system we saw today in Halifax earlier. It's pushing through Newfoundland. No big system there. No watches or warnings in place for that. Really, this is our next concern for travel. It's coming through Wednesday evening. So if you need to get things done tomorrow through the day, that's the ideal time because then everything starts to change. Through the Fundy Shores, this is really the dividing line for where there's rain to the south and then snow to the north. And along that front, we could see some mixing as well as the risk for freezing rain. So PEI in that risk for freezing rain. For Thursday morning, that's when it's approaching Newfoundland. As we look at totals, here's what you'll be shoveling. 35 centimeters or more for Fredericton. And for Halifax, less snow because, again, warm enough to get that rain. And then Wednesday through to Friday, we've got the rain-snow mixing for the Avalon and the rain event there. So another messy system approaching. We're going to turn our attention now to southern Ontario. We find Gary Archibald outside of our Oakville studios. And Gary, we're also following a storm that's moving into southern Ontario. Outside, though, it's hard to believe that that's coming for us next. Well, if I look around to my right, there's a lot of snow that has melted. The parking lot's very wet. Temperatures close to about seven and a half degrees. You're right, Gary, and a lot of our viewers have been reporting some light rain around London and in the southwest. That is just prefrontal. That's not what's 
we're really expecting. Things are going to change through the overnight, so you're going to maybe sleep through it. As of 3 p.m., take a look at these daytime highs. Toronto reached 10 degrees. It's hard to believe that we're talking about a big winter storm, but our lead meteorologist, Chris Scott, said tomorrow is going to feel like the dead of winter. As we look at this, blowing snow warnings are in place. By tomorrow afternoon, it could be 10 to 15 centimeters for Toronto, a little bit more towards Hamilton. If you can't watch us on TV, watch us on the web. We'll be live streaming from 2 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And you won't be disappointed if on Wednesday you're headed towards Punta Cana. Sunshine getting up to 28 degrees, a perfect dry day.